Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jeff. Today we're going to talk about how to set up a drone um, business or just not necessarily set up a drone business because it's such an evolving industry. It's just some things that you can do to put yourself in a position to be able to um, set up a business or plant seeds that will grow into something bigger than um, you know what we already have. One of, the, one of the things that I can automatically say right out of the gates is I got into the drones at two, in 2014 and how far drones have come since 2014 here in 2016, it's been a considerable um, leaps and bounds um, growth in not just the, the, the software technologies and the, um, the quality of the videos and the quality of just the overall process. The, the app integrations. Um, so it's going to definitely continue to grow, uh, especially as companies like uh, DJI and GoPro and 3D Robotics and AirDog continue to get funding and build their businesses. There's going to be more money and more technology that's just going to continue to grow it. With that being said, um, the number one thing that I recommend is having a foresight. So being able to project two to three years out is going to um, put you into a better position than you are now. So um, what are some other uses that drones can be used for aside from aerial photography? You know, like what, what doing some research on um, what people are saying, what's being said, you know, construction, agriculture, stuff like that. Now, when you first break into the drone business, I can tell you that the consensus is going to be overall get into making videos. Aerial photography is the best way to get your feet wet, get the ball rolling and get the, the step going. Now, that's just that's going to be the most competitive arena is um, aerial photography and cinematography. But that at least gets you the uh, aptitude, the, um, the, the know-how, the understanding of how, some of the um, rules and guidelines associated with um, you know being a commercial drone pilot with your FA 107 and it just you know it's inspiring to get out there and, and take videos make videos um, you can use software like uh, iMovie um, GoPro has one uh, or you can pay for a software more advanced software like um, Final Cut Pro uh, so get out there and make videos. That's like pretty much your main objective. Get your drone, start making, take videos, cut it, dice it, put it into a um, video format, and that's a great way to get started. But remember, go back to what I said earlier, which is have foresight. Where is the industry going to be in three years? Okay, so is it going to be in inspecting buildings? Yes. Is it going to be in um, uh, precision agriculture? Yes. Is it going to be in education yes is it going to be in um, distribution of products yes so have that foresight to see where you fit into the uh, the the process where what inspires you about the drone industry and it, it, it can and, and be creative be as creative as you possibly can data I mean it's all going to be on the table when it comes to drones uh, even thinking about inventing products to bring to the the drone community uh, using things like check out 3D Robotics and how they're um, how they're operating their business based on an open source. So get creative um, and have foresight. Get out there, make the videos, and um, you know that's a great way to start. Build a following. Put your put all the pieces of the puzzle and start laying the foundation now. Get yourself a website, get yourself a Facebook page, get yourself a listing on Yelp, Google Maps, um, Facebook, Instagram. Get all that infrastructure at least planted. I'm not saying you have to continue like feed them all, you know, a YouTube channel and all that like every single day or every single week, but at least get them built. Start start building some of it and. Um, you know, just get the ball rolling. Don't get caught in procrastination. Okay, so just get started with videos 
and having foresight because when you're out there making videos you're gonna be able to think of other ways that a drone can be used and believe me there is a lot of talk about things that drones are gonna be used for whether it's flying a banner you know how airplanes fly banners with advertising over lakes or um, you know uh, oceans bays towns that, that there's talk of that there's talk of news cut chop instead of ch helicopters is gonna be news drones um, Facebook's talking about putting drones in the sky to um, instead of instead of Wi-Fi towers that just fly off solar panels. So really get creative here. <laughs> it's a it's a time to tap into your artistic uh, abilities, and you know I'm I'm here to inspire you and say you can do it because it's an it's you're you're looking at an industry that has the potential to be uh, something on on the verge of. A mega boom. I'm not going to say it's going to be a mega boom or a revolution like the internet, but anytime you're in, in a uh, growing industry like crypto tech, uh, cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, virtual real or augmented realities, or um, you know, drone technology, and the list goes on. There is uh, technologies of the future, but if for this video we're just sticking to drones, I'm just saying. Think creative. Maybe even think about how you can uh, integrate uh, augmented reality with um, drones, like they're doing with those goggles. You know, they're already doing um, simulators. So this is kind of just shooting from the hip, like putting it out there, get you guys thinking, and get some innovation going, get the artistic uh, juices flowing. And I hope to hear from you guys. Uh, my name is Jeff. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I talk about traveling and some business stuff. Uh, you know, we like to keep it fun, not be too serious, but be productive and be creative. So I'll see you guys later.